Hey, how you guys doing? This is Zach again, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to repair your ABS light on your car. Uh, now, if your ABS light comes on after a few minutes of driving, it's most likely a wheel speed sensor located on one of the wheels. Um, but the fix that I'm going to show you today is for an ABS light that stays on all the time. So as soon as you start the car, the ABS light doesn't go out. It usually means that there's a fault with your ABS pump or, or relay. Uh, relays you can check underneath the hood, but uh, I'll show you the repair here for the ABS pump itself. Uh, you can see we got everything out of the way already. First thing that uh, we're going to do is go ahead and remove the air box. Uh, you know, the air cleaner that you, you have, uh, a couple of screws takes it out right away. The next thing we're going to do is remove the uh, intake elbow that attaches to the manifold. And uh, that's just a little worm gear uh, that holds that on. And next thing we got is a close-up shot of the ABS pump. It's different for traction control vehicles, uh, and it's also different from uh, varies from year to year. But uh, you can see the three inlets on the left-hand side in the outlets. Um, they're size 12 with an open-ended wrench. And uh, once you get the ABS pump out, you can see the electrical connector, which is just a normal screw-off type, the same that uh, you would use for the cruise control and then the whole unit slides out pretty easy. Uh, go ahead and flip the unit over and you'll see uh, six, six Allen head screws. Go ahead and remove those. Gives you access to the solenoids and you can see your first little shot of the uh, ribbon wire. And uh, we got a close up picture here of the ribbon wire. And the problem is uh, the ribbon wire gets old and cracks and then that's what sends the fault to the computer and gives you that light. Uh, you can see I went through here and just took a soldering iron and piece by piece go through and um, desolder all the connection points. There's uh, two points on each solenoid and uh, you see the pen over there on the left. I went ahead and made a diagram just by simply looking at the uh, the, uh, the direction the wires were going and uh, went ahead and made a little schematic for it. Uh, just, just so when I run new wire I know where it goes. So you can see all the uh, ribbon wires taken out and I'm now running 16 gauge wire from all the contact points right there down at the bottom and working my way around in the same fashion as the ribbon wire to the positive and negative terminals on the ABS pump. So you can see uh, working away here we got some progression shots here of running new wire. Just take your time with this. Uh, it can be very frustrating uh, running new wire in such a small spot. But uh, if you take your time, you could potentially save yourself uh, at least a couple of hundred dollars. And uh, you can see all... There we go. The wire is all done being run. And uh, double checking my connections and uh, the continuity of the, uh, the solders. And then I uh, use this little stuff called liquid tape. It's kind of like electrical tape to make sure there's no sparks and things like that on the inside. Uh, really inexpensive. I applied it with a, actually the end of a, uh, a toothpick so I could get into all the little nooks and the crannies uh, with that liquid tape. And uh, here you can see a kind of a final shot after uh, all the solders have been uh, liquid taped. Another close uh, shot here, and uh, so what we're going to do now is, uh, you know, and uh, the install is the reverse of removal, and just to let you know, like I said before, the uh, the ribbon wire tends to crack over time, and uh, what the ABS pump does is limits the amount of brake fluid going to each wheel, uh, depending on which one it finds is slipping, and uh, you know some people like ABS, some people don't, but it's always good to have, the, you know. If you go to sell your car or something like that. So uh, in under five minutes, showed you how to repair your ABS pump and uh, hopefully save you a bit of money. And again, uh, send some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully have some more videos up here pretty soon.